Hello and welcome to this week's Transformers Toy News Recap. First up, we'll start by going through all the exciting rumours that have been making waves this past week. Posted on TFW 2005 was a translated text containing upcoming product information. It stated that we'll get Encore, we think this means Platinum, versions of Trypticon and the Coneheads, a Blitzwing and Astro Train bundle, and a Perceptor and Blaster bundle. Devastator will indeed be Titan class, however, due to having to appeal to various age groups, the single robot transformations will not be that complex. There will also be a Defensor revealed later this year, which has already sort of started, but more on that in a little while. And finally, it stated that this year there will be five Masterpiece figures, and that MP25 is the same as listed on Daobao, meaning tracks, and they'll come with a human and a blaster. Over to Takara and their reveal of their Superion. Planet Icon revealed the figure on Facebook. This will be the first of Takara's new Unite Warriors line, designated the UW01 and sold as a 5-pack. Then eHobby uploaded high-res official images of the figure, allowing us to compare it with its Combiner Wars counterpart, and giving us a good look at Slingshot, who seems to have taken some time off from his Hasbro duties to get a facelift, returning with a brand new head sculpt. We also got our first look at Takara's Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Bumblebee, again allowing us to contrast and compare the differences with his Hasbro counterpart, and another Japanese magazine scan has appeared online which shows new images of Masterpiece G2 Bumblebee in his jetpack and Legends Megatron. Robot Kingdom have posted in-package images of AD32 Stinger from Takara's movie Advance line. This is a repaint of AD27 Bumblebee and should be shipping out now. Courtesy of Big Bad Toy Store, we've had oh so very many new images of Takara Transformers Adventure toy line. Most of these now have stock photo images, although some still have placeholders. You can check out the full list of characters in the description below, or visit the Big Bad Toy Store website. Hero X Net have revealed new images of Million Publishing's Go Shooter and Shuki on Twitter, showing them and their target master companions. And our Transformers Toy News Week would not be complete without Hishashi Yuki posting more images of the upcoming Masterpiece 24 Star Saber, this time showing off the figure and his brain of courage in alt and robot mode. Big Bad Toy Store have posted pre-orders for new Q Transformers. These include a G1 themed Optimus, Lamborghini Alt Mode Megatron, Suzuki Hustler Skids and Mazda RX-7 Drift. And posted on the Takara Transformers Twitter was this image showing off QT9 G1 Wheeljack and QT10 Alternity Convoy in both modes. These are due out later this month. Courtesy of TFW 2005's Gal Kaiser and YS Honton of Twitter, we've got new in-hand images of the D-style convoy figure. These show off the accessories, heads and arms in detail and you can just make out the packaging behind the figure in one of the shots. Now over to Hasbro with more of their Combiner Wars reveals. Following on from Takara's veal for a Unite Warriors Slingshot, TFW 2005's iSpark has discovered listings for Wild Rider and Slingshot figures in the Toys R Us computers, both costing $16.99. Legends Skywarp and Combiner Wars Rodimus have been revealed. Hasbro Germany and Spain have both updated their websites to include the additions, with Skywarp using the Legends mould and Rodimus will be a redeco of Combiner Wars Blackjack. Entertainment Earth have posted packaging images for Robots in Disguise Titan Heroes Wave 2 showing Sideswipe, Bumblebee and Steeljaw, all of which are 12 inch tall and due for release in February. The Transformers Age of Extinction app has now been updated to the official Transformers app and the fan built combiner voting has now gone live. Make sure you download it if you haven't already so you can cast your vote. And on the app, Sideswipe75 and his eagle eyes have spotted what appears to be our first look at a Combiner Wars hotspot and groove from Defensor. And Combiner Wars have been released in Italy, the first time since 2010 that the Italians have had new generations figures. And Combiner Wars figures have also been released in Canada. And we've got new in-hand images of the Hasbro Asia exclusive Human Alliance Barricade and Soundwave box set. Courtesy of Toy Hunters on Weibo, these images show the packaging as well as the figures in robot and alt modes and confirm that there will be no premium paint job for this set. Kids Logic have released official images of their upcoming Super Deformed Transformers figures. The Kids Nation's KF03 is a set of five Transformers that will include Megatron, Wheeljack, Smokescreen, Jazz and Ironhide. These will be 9cm tall static figures, they will be highly detailed and feature LED light up eyes. 3A have revealed their next Transformers figure. From the Dark of the Moon movie comes Megatron, complete with hoodie, and pre-orders go live at the Bamboland store from January the 30th. 
and Prime 1 Studio have teased their next Transformers Museum Masterline series figure. They gave us a glimpse of their Drift statue. Based on his likeness from the Age of Extinction movie, the statue will be revealed in full at Japan's Wonder Festival 2015. And there have been lots of Play With This 2 updates this week. They posted this design art for the Mighty Musculese, Son of Testosteros, revealed their Headshots Volume 6, showed lots of 3D renders for their Desolator figure, stating that it should be off to the printers this week, and showing what it should look like once painted. They posted images of Flare Strike, which will be a crowdfunding exclusive, and Anchor, stating that the characters' faces will be modelled after very generous backers from the crowdfunding campaign. They then posted colour sheet images for Bloodbath and crowdfunding exclusive Bite Mark. They then posted more 3D render images of Desolator, showing a more complete figure, but stating that it's still a work in progress. They revealed a new character, Arbuke, and DK, the tech drone that will accompany Bite Mark. And finally, they posted this detailed technical image of Desolator's tech drone. Play With This 2 also announced that the first 200 people to pledge for the Play With It All option when the crowdfunding campaign begins will receive a free exclusive blue BMOG set. Rick, if you're watching this, please, could you go a little bit easier on us next week? And you're in a secret toy garden have released in-hand images of Fans Project's Mad Law figure. Designated Function XV, this is their quick switch homage, and they've posted images of the figure in robot and alt modes. He was also compared to his G1 counterpart in all modes, as well as compared to other bots. And posted on Weibo with these images comparing the packaging to that of Function X4 Sigma L for size comparison. Test shot images of fans toys sever have been posted. The FT06 Iron Diebot number 3 is their snarl homage, and this was shown in robot and alt modes, as well as in front of their slag and swoop homages, Iron Diebots 1 and 2, Scoria and Saw. Giga Power have released new images of their upcoming gutter figure. These were posted on their Facebook page, and this is their MP skilled snarl homage. They posted images of the figure in robot and dino mode, alongside other MP scaled figures just to show how massive he is, and showed the effects parts and accessories in detail. They also posted an apology for the delay, stating that the Chrome needs a little bit more testing and that this is expected to be released in March or April this year. New images of G Creation Shuriking SRK01 have been posted on Facebook. Courtesy of Chosen Prime, this is their MP scaled Sludge Marge, which was shown in Robot and Dino mode, as well as in Weaponized modes, Leg mode, and alongside Masterpiece Grimlock for size comparison. Uranus Secret Toy Garden have posted in hand images of Warbatron's Whirlwind. The WB01D is their Vortex homage and is the fourth member of their unofficial Bruticus, first Gestalt. The figure was shown in robot and alt mode and also shown was the packaging. In hand images of Mastermind Creations Feel the Saber have been posted on Weibo. Courtesy of Red Beam Wang, this is Mastermind Creations final Feral Rex member who is a remold of their Tigris and can be used to replace Talon in arm mode. His tiger head can either be used as a helmet or a gauntlet and also shown was the packaging for the figure. Iron Factory released more colour images of their Sonic tech. The IFEX03, their blaster homage, was shown sitting on his throne, made up of his companions Rhino Bass and Leo Treble, reading the paper, which is a pretty terrible way to treat your friends if you ask me. This was also revealed to be 85mm tall, and they also released images showing the figure armed up and applied to an Optimus Prime, making him into a weaponized 70s rocker with platform shoes. Unique Toys have revealed a new figure. This is an Octane homage designated the Y01 Provider and will be their attempt at improving the Universe Deluxe Tanker and they showed the prototype in Robot, Tanker and Airplane modes. Planet X have also announced a new figure. Following on from fan feedback, they revealed that the PX06 Vulcan is now in the design stage and is scheduled to be released in the third quarter of 2015 with a full dino team scheduled for this year. They also stated that the image posted was for reference only. And another reveal from Bad Cube. They posted an image of the prototypes for three Insecticon homages stating, We love the engineering of War Dogs so much and it is no simple task to surpass it. How about three bad guys? These will be MP scaled and will continue the old time series. They posted the robot and alt modes for all three figures will be named Claymore, Hypno and Kickbutt. DX9 Toys posted a cryptic update on their Facebook page. They stated, contains two separate figures, transform without detaching parts, MP size, question mark, look forward to DX9's new productions in 2015, exclamation mark. 
and Vangelis has posted a video review of Arc Studios VIP Disguises series. He reviewed all three legend size figures in one video, that's Spectre, Peacekeeper and Silverstorm, their G1 Smokescreen Prowl and Blue Streak homages. There's a link to the video below. Guilty have posted a new image which shows concept art for their G09 Incarnate figure, their War for Cybertron slash Fall of Cybertron Ultra Magnus homage. And this image appeared online of what appears to be a Starcat Star Rescue Team Combiner 2.0. New images of DMY's Faironic kits have been uploaded online. The DMY D05 kit is designed for the Transformers Prime Voyager Megatron figure and shown were all three versions, Normal, Silver and Dark Energon, applied to the figures as well as in packaging and the packaging for the sets. Renderform have revealed several new products. These include the RW018 Rivet Gun, the Air Guardian Rifle for Leader Class Jetfire, the RFX 004F PAX Final Edition Head for Toy World's Orion, the RFX 004P PAX Full Head for Toy World's Orionville, the RFX 010 Hero Axe also for Toy World's Orion, and the RW020 Fury Blade which has a 5mm peg. Pre-orders for all of these are available on the Renderform website now. ATP Designs have posted their prototype head for Mastermind Creations Terminus Hexatron, they stated that there's more info to come regarding pricing and availability, but one new bit of info they do have is that these will be full ABS and no longer resin casted. Dr. Wu offshoot Dr. Q have revealed a new chibi Grimlock figure. Known as Baby Lock, the non-transformable figure was shown in a variety of poses as well as with other Transformers figures for size comparison. And finally, we started with official Transformers rumours, so I think it's fitting that we end with third party rumours. Posted on TF Prototype, there are rumours that a third party company will be releasing a Hot Rod slash Rodimus Prime figure. Details are pretty thin on the ground at the moment, but this is rumoured to be Masterpiece scale, however it's not clear if this will be Hot Rod, Rodimus or both. And that's all for this week, thank you very much for watching, please remember to like and subscribe and share, and we'll see you in a week's time.